guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing a first impressions tutorial review. I have the Naked Honey palette here by Urban Decay. And I thought it'd be fun to play around with it, create a look, get creative, and see if, I, if we like the palette, maybe chat a little bit. So this palette's going to be $49. It already has 4.8, a 4.8 rating of 47 reviews on the Urban Decay website. Anyway, here's the little PR box that it came in. I did, I got this in PR. This was free, but this video is not sponsored. Then we have the carton right there. Oh, I forgot how beautiful this is. I already looked at it. Boom. I mean, it literally looks like a block of liquid gold. I'm not a huge, like, gold person. I'm not a big fan of gold. But this is beautiful. And there she is in all of her glory. I think it's going to be... A cute wearable like really easy entry-level like palette for a lot of people it looks really nice a lot of shades that you could easily just slap on your eyes uh, any old day I think ages ago I wasn't a huge fan of the layout of naked palettes um, I don't know I, I guess I just thought that they were boring you know there's so many other palettes out there that come with like you know circles or squares and I don't know I guess I just thought that this was really basic and boring, but now I've really come to enjoy the Naked palettes. It's, they're really consistent. I like just, it's just a, a row of colors. I find that I reach for Naked palettes a lot when I just need to do my eyeshadow quickly while I'm getting ready, or maybe I'm watching something, maybe I'm like talking on the phone. I'm not focusing too much on my makeup, but I want still want it to look good, you know? And maybe I'm in a hurry or something like that. I, I like Naked palettes for that purpose because it's just got like a bunch of colors that are gonna go well together. I'm feeling pinky, I reach for Naked Cherry, boom. I'm feeling smoky, Naked Smoky right there. If I wanna do something like warm, Naked Heat. And so I feel like this is gonna, as long as the formula is, you know, still decent, like most Urban Decay palettes are, I'm probably gonna be reaching for this when I want like a warm, honeyish brown. Like, let's let's get into it and create a look, huh? Did I even say how much it costs? $49. Um, not gonna lie, I do think, I think that's pretty pricey. For 12 really basic shadows and the fact that it doesn't come with a black, I strongly believe that every naked palette should have a black. For $40 or for $50, you should be able this should be like a one-stop shop. And I just feel like no makeup palette that, that's supposed to be like an all-in-one is complete without a black. So that's my my complaint right off the bat. I'm just gonna prime my lids with some concealer. This is ColourPop No Filter. Oh, did I mention the brush? I really like the brushes that come in Urban Decay palettes. I want to do a halo eye, so I think I'm going to start out with the darkest shade, which is Sting, right here. And that's going to go on the inner and outer corners. Oh yeah, I'm doing my, my eyes first because these do tend to have some fallout, and I tend to be a sloppy bitch. Flip the brush around and let's a blend a roo. To help blend, let's dip into drip. As I'm like, as I'm, I'm blending, I'm just thinking like it's actually crazy how almost anything that comes into market these days can be duped. Rimmel, for example, to kind of copy. Uh, the Urban Decay Naked palettes. Little palettes like this, this one's pretty colorful, but they, they do have like a pink one that's comparable to Naked Cherry. They have the Spice one that kind of looks like Naked Heat. So these are like $9 and I do enjoy the quality of them. Now I'm blending out with Hive. It's such a beautiful day outside, you guys. My window is right there. I just want to like go outside and film a video outside. Maybe I'll do that. All right, blend, blend, blend. These blend so beautifully. Like I just kind of want to keep going. It's so relaxing. Okay, so let's try and take one of these shimmers here. I'm just going to go in with a flat brush like this. I don't want to see if how they perform without any like spray or mixing medium. So I think I want to do amber. I want to create like a really cool gradient. 
of shimmer towards the center. I think it looks pretty good without any sort of setting spray or mixing medium, but I'm just so used to always spritzing my, my shimmers with something that I kind of like am addicted to it now. Let's do Queen next to that in the very outer corner. Next up, let's grab Golden. That shade is a beaut. Last but hopefully not least, the star of the show, Honey, is gonna go in the very center. Right in that little space. Mm. Mm -hmm. Also, Honey is the brightest color and it's not disappointing me right now. It's pretty much what I wanted. I do feel like these these shimmers could be a little softer. I don't know. I think I've been I'm spoiled by indie brands who make their shadows like so freaking soft, like Devina. And then coincidentally enough, there's a bee themed palette by Misha Liu Cosmetics. Their shimmers um, are just insane so just there's a thought i mean these are beautiful shimmers but i think that they could be better gonna dip back into drip and try to just kind of deepen and soften this crease area so i'm taking sting patting that in the crease just to create a little bit more of a shadow see the difference there that eye versus that one where i haven't done it yet Okay, so I don't think I could do this tutorial, this look, without doing a big ass winged liner. I mean, bees and wings? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just kidding, but like for real though. Of course, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Fine Point Eye Pen. This is the best eyeliner ever. Speaking of wings, I actually have a how to do winged eyeliner uh, tutorial. I filmed it. I haven't edited it yet because I'm slow as fuck when it comes to editing. So I'm gonna speed through this and just know that I have the video filmed and it's, it's coming at you soon, okay? Okay, those, those wings look badass if I do say so myself. Let's pop some lashes on. These are D18 from Cadabra. So these ones are pretty large and winged out on the end, so I think these will be super cute. What is that, a full cat hair? I want everybody to just take in how my eyeshadow looks right now. I know I don't have brows on, like it's not like beautiful and perfect, but I just want you to know that this is what you can get using the Naked Honey palette. I need, I need more, I'm gonna, I need to elevate this a little bit. Ever since I started using these by Profusion, they're the sparkling eye toppers, I can't stop using them. Like every every single shimmery look for me is just total weak sauce if I don't have some sort of glitter to put on it. And I love this stuff because it's it looks like a loose glitter. It's so beautiful and shiny and amazing, but it's not as much of a pain in the ass as a loose glitter is. So it just comes on this little thingy here and I'm just gonna gently pat that. I'm trying to strategically avoid touching my eyeliner. I mean, can you blame me? I had to do it, I had to do it, I had to do it. Okay, boom, there we go, eyes are done. I need to do the rest of my face cause I'm reviewing a foundation and so I'll be right back. I'm not crazy about how my foundation looks right now, you guys, so cut me some slack, okay? But let's get these uh, let's get these eyes done. I'm gonna do some black in my waterline. This is a gel eyeliner by ColourPop. I prefer gel. This stuff is super cheap, super affordable. You can use any gel that you want, obviously, but um, the reason why I like doing gel 
is because I can add Duraline, which is my favorite little mixing medium, and it makes it really like liquidy and easy to just easy to apply. You don't have to scrape a pencil across your waterline. So I'm gonna pat the tiniest little bit of this black shadow called Karma by Devina Cosmetics. I just feel like you can't have like a yellow or like a honey, like a bee themed palette without black. All right, that's that's very very dark and smoky. Okay, let's get a warmer shade to blend that out with. I think I want to do Keeper. It's like such a beautiful like honey mustard shade. Oh my god, I really 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 want some honey mustard right now. Oh, maybe we can maybe Gary will, will take me out to lunch. There's um this restaurant that we like called BJ's. Well, it's a special place in in our heart, not because it's called. BJ's, but um, we used to go to this restaurant all the time back in the day when we like kind of first met and this is like such a long-winded story but um, they have this really good honey mustard there I guess it's not that long of a story <laughs> they have a honey mustard that I really like there fucking Christ the brush kind of like rubbed up against my foundation and got fallout on it Anyway, just to distract from that fallout, I'm gonna be doing some freckles, you guys. I'm just, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Alright, these are just starting to look like dirt. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna take this really big fluffy swarm, and that's gonna go a little further down. Let's get some lower lash mascara. And then I'm gonna pop some highlight on before I do blush. This is Wet n Wild Moon Tears. It's just a uh, powder highlighter that has a really nice gold shine to it. Unfortunately, I have not found an exact dupe for this. Wet n Wild has come out with a few other powder highlighters that are pretty, but it, they're not they're not the same as this. And like I just can't. And we're gonna get a tiny bit on the nose here. Sometimes I speed through this in my tutorials, but whatever highlighter I'm using on my cheeks, I pretty much do nose, inner corner, chin, cupid's bow, forehead, like the works. You know what, I think I'm just gonna do this adorable peach shade called Dauphine from Lovecraft Beauty. How cute is that? I like putting the powder highlighter down before blush because it, uh, just makes everything look so glossy and natural. So I just had the crazy thought of putting the sparkling eye topper on my face with the highlighter. What do we think? Was that cute or was that a mistake? It's probably not ideal for real life applications, but we're not in real life, we're in the YouTube world. I look like I'm going to a summer festival or something. Okay, last but not least, you guys, we need a lip to go with this, this look and you guessed it. I'm gonna do black. This is NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Alien. Alright, we've got a little bit of a change of scenery here because I just think that this look looks so bomb with black, like up against black. And so there we have it. I think that the Naked Honey palette is pretty cool. If you like these colors, if you like Urban Decay shadows, if you want to spend $50 on a palette, I don't think you'd be disappointed. The only problem for me is that there's no black and I really think that this palette needs a black. But I am maybe a little biased because I like pairing every color with black. I physically can't not include black. So that's kind of my consensus on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed hanging out with me while I created this look and tested out this palette. Let me know what you think of the palette and my look down in the thought in what? 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I absolutely love hearing from you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.